Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to bake an animation in Blender. It's not like that, bruh. There's no, there's no weed, bruh. There's no, there's no, there's no weed, bruh. There's none of that. There's no smoking, bruh. There can be if your animation's about smoking, but mine's not. Mine's about a cube, because you're about to use whatever project you're working on, and this will show you how to bake the animation for your project. So, unless you're making a new one, you could be like me, obviously. Go to New, Under File, General, make a new project. Now you got the cube. Alright. Now, what you gotta do, if you don't already have an animation made, that you already made, I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. What you need to do, is you need to go to your very first keyframe right here, under this playback, or I believe this is the playback editor, or the timeline, something like that. I... You could call it either one, but in here it's called the timeline. Uh, go to keyframe one, wherever you'd like your animation to start at. You put your key, your first keyframe there, all right? So you press I to insert the keyframe. I'm picking rotation. And now what you want to do is go to the end of your animation where you'd like it to end at. Go to your, the very right there at the very end where you'd like it to end at. It could be 160, it could be 200, it could be 250. Anything, wherever you'd like your animation to stop. You need to press I again and make another keyframe. And it has to be the same keyframe that you started at the beginning with. It, I mean, actually, it doesn't have to, but it's probably best that you do that so you get like a nice flow with your animation. Unless you're doing some technical ass stuff, but in this, I'm not going to cover that. So now, you got this orange bar here, which is just because it's the same, everything's the same going through here. And to fix this, to make your animation begin and end, you need to go to your final keyframe, or it could be your starting one, however you'd like to do it. But here, I got this one, I'm doing it at the end. Now, you need to put different, you need to add some rotations here. And to do this, the fastest way that I know of is to press record and go over here and change the number to whatever number of degrees, meters, or whatever scale size you'd like it to change in. And see, now the animation's just been completed. Now I can uncheck the record button and now I have this is gonna move about however it needs to move so this video gets made bruh it's just flowing around spinning having a good time you see now all you gotta do next is press B and select all the objects you have an animation for so if you have keyframes or any form of an animation or anything that you need to bake to make your video be really smooth and work out really well you gotta press B and you gotta select all of them I don't think you have to select the lights or anything because obviously you don't need to bake any of that stuff unless you're into that you could do that but I'm not doing that I'm just gonna select the cube because that's what I put animations on and now after you've selected all your objects go to object go to animation and click bake animation you can obviously mess with all these different settings here, but I'm not going to do that just to keep the video simple and to the point. Uh, frame step, you keep that at 1. Start frame, end frame, you need to put that at whatever you, you have your video set at. You can adjust that accordingly. Now you can bake you can bake the data to an object, which is what you need to do in this. The pose, that's more so if you're not animating it, you just had moved around a bunch of, uh, what is it? The f you know, I'll make a video about how to make poses at some point if you guys would like me to. But anyways, you got bake data, put it as object, and now what this is going to do is it's going to place every single keyframe down. Every single frame is going to already be calculated. Like it's going to be set out, it's going to be its own individual keyframe now, instead of it just being a start and an end. And this is going to allow your animations to be super smooth in your videos, and even in the viewport because it's not like it's having to calculate it the entire time like it's it's just always gonna be super clean super precise because obviously you basically final you basically did a final calculation on your animation so now it is like binded to your object and obviously this will help if you're gonna be importing any sort of animations into uh, like spark AR or something which I think I made another video about that before something like that but yeah, you got it done. It's all ready to go. Now you, you need to save it as, you could save it as 
whatever you need to save it as. Probably your final because this is probably the last thing you had to do. Unless you don't, then just save it like regular or something. And you can obviously export. This is an FBX or an OBJ. And I do believe it will save the animation to your object. So like I said, when you put it in Spark AR or something like that, it'll load in as that's the animation you have attached to the object. It'll probably be named after the object or something, or just called animation. Like see, when you go to the scene collection, it's going to show animation right there, action, because you just binded, you basically binded your animation to the object. It's now one with the object. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's very to the point and simple. You should have a very good idea on how to bake an object now in Blender. And if you have any questions, concerns, anything, any any video suggestions, please put it in the comments. I will bang out videos as fast as possible. As soon as they get suggested, I'll work on it and get that shit out. If I'd like to make it. If it's if it's a topic that I don't, I wouldn't like to make a video about. I'm not gonna do that shit. But if I feel like people will benefit from it, I will make it. And anyways. You can like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined to. I appreciate you. You have a blessed day. And thank you for watching the video, bruh. Goodbye. Deuces. Maybe I'll insert another weed smoke. Uh, maybe I'll insert, yeah, I'll probably insert another thing of the hand thing in there with the, the fucking blunt, or the joint. I'll probably insert that again. <laughs> Anyways, deuces.